And ABC News' Alex Perche is here to tell us more about the summit. Uh, Alex, president says the U.S. is all in on Africa's future uh, and the digital economy they're building. Their U.S. foreign adversaries like China, Russia, they're already uh, have deep economic political ties with Africa. Uh, the U.S. doesn't, never has. It's, it's always, no matter what any president says, it's always been an afterthought or an after afterthought. If I'm an African leader, why am I believing it's different now? Well, you know, the White House is hopeful that these commitments of dollars behind the talk uh, is going to be enough to prove that this is actually a real, real thing. You were talking about uh, an investment in the region. Well, listen, I mean, we, we talk about the effects of, of, of the pandemic, and we talk about uh, uh, the effects of uh, food supply shortages uh, because of Russia's war with Ukraine. Well, that is compounded in the African continent. And so you see the president talk about uh, shoring up uh, not just things on that front, but also having digital infrastructure uh, and investments over the next few years. He's talking in the hundreds of billions of dollars range there. Uh, and, and and look, I mean, you know, for, for them, it's, it's, a, it's a hope that, uh, yes, this is the first U.S. African Leaders Summit since, since 2014, but with these dollar commitments that this will show that, hey, there actually is uh, uh, more to, to, to the words this, this, this go around. So there seems to be this sort of openness uh, to an idea of, of closer ties. L money speaks. We'll see what happens. Um, but there's also the talk about, hey, will the African Union uh, join the G20? You've got South Africa. Will others join? Well, so certainly, and right now, I mean, South Africa is the only member uh, from the continent a part of, of of the G20. But look, I mean, one of the big initiatives that the president announced today is, is a, uh, an investment uh, through Congress of over $350 million to facilitate uh, over $450 million to finance uh, financing for African lines within the African Union's uh, digital transformation strategy. They're hoping that that is a huge, huge carrot in this fight uh, to, uh, to, to essentially build relations in that region. And um, Alex, have you got a sense uh, from this summit of the openness of African leaders? Uh, to this kind of overture. Look, China, we know, has had just this tremendous investment uh, and, and presence in so many African countries. Uh, they're, they're doing well by China. Have you got a sense whether or not this push by President Biden is going to have any payoff? I, I think time will kind of tell. There's going to be a, a, a big dinner this evening uh, where, you know, we'll get a little bit more of a read out on how this uh, this three day summit is is, is going. Uh, but but again, Terry, I mean, I think you know, the, the stakes are, 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 are relatively high here. You talked about China's investment already in the region. Uh, and there is a significant fear that if the U.S. doesn't specifically work on this relationship with the continent, it will further pursue, uh, persuade uh, the uh, these African nations to, to align themselves with not just China, but Russia and, and some of our other adversaries. All right, Alex Prache, we'll follow the three-day summit for sure. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.